Do you think Kansas City is going to regret trading Tyreek? No, I don't. I think, number one, when you decide to pay your quarterback a ton of money, as they should have in regards to Patrick Mahomes, it's really – darn near impossible to pay the, both the quarterback high-level money and then a receiver high-level money. You can't build a football team really trying to do that. I think the second thing is this. The Chiefs have identified that the, be the best part of their football team is their offensive line. And getting back to allowing that offensive line to be dominant within football games is going to be a big part of their future. And I have said, and I talked about this a lot on NFL Live last year, was they had kind of created this crutch in their offense, the RPO, the run-pass option game, where Patrick Mahomes can kind of decide is he going to get the ball or pull it or hand it off or throw a bubble screen. It kind of hurt their football team when it comes to that offensive line. And I think that they've realized – our quarterback's the best in football. We got an offensive line that's going to be one of the, if not best in football, and we can build our offense around those pieces. And I've said this for a long time in the NFL. When you've got a dominant offensive line, the other pieces become better. So the receivers that they have in regards to a Miko Hardman, he's going to be better when they run their offense through the offensive line. Adding a Juju Smith-Schuster, he'll play better. MVS, he'll play better because you have Patrick Holmes. And I just think that while Tyreek Hill is spectacular – to have to pay him that much money and really start to schematically and philosophically change your offense, it doesn't make sense for them to do that. They also have four picks in the top 62 of the NFL draft this year, and this wide receiver class oh, is going to be it. spectacular. So I don't think they will, no. What the hell? Where, where have you been? I mean, I want to know where you've been because been I want to know. World. I, I, you went to Disney World? Well, damn. Yeah, I mean, that kind of ruins my point because I was going to say sat, you. Stephen I was, A., I, I, I sat and wrote 38 last night with the wife. 38. You serious? Last row. Ser please, hold on, hold on. Please tell me you're joking. I swear Seriously, to God. Seriously, please tell me you're joking. Why would you do that? Why would you do? Why would you be cheat with your wife it, like that? We you gonna have your wife and coach like that, man? Yeah. Come on, man. You, you serious? Gotta, I mean, earn. you just distracted my point. You had your wife in the last seat and coach Molly. Why are you not saying anything to him about I that? I said to him to Orlando. I mean, it's like are you a kidding me? Flight. It's like a forty-nine dollars. That ticket. is a disgrace. You got it. We, that we, is a disgrace. She should divorce you. She okay, should divorce right. you. Let's I mean, come down. on, that's man. A, that's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Or at least leave you. What's at least ridiculous? leave you for a month. What's ridiculous she should leave is, you for a month. What's ridiculous is you looking like Hugh Jackman from The Greatest Showman with that suit. That's all. What's up? What's up, baby? The, the, you know, the, the that suit, suit looks like you look like why Hugh Jackman. Why are you, Jackman, you, Hugh hating, Jackman, trying why to why you hating when you know the suit is fly? Stop it. Let me hey, get to th your hey, point. One thing real quick, Dan. There is a thing called Sky Miles. You can also build miles yes. and fly people it, for it's free. It's disgraceful. I do that as well, too. It's it doesn't embarrassing. You I believe you, you just, have to. Really? I believe you have to, like, your wife, you have your to wife should in, leave you for a month. No. She should leave you. We leave you. We haven't earned it yet. We that haven't earned it, it as a family yet. Oh, please. Anyway, let me we, get back to this football that. point. She should leave you, and she should leave you with the kids for a month by yourself so you should appreciate her more. That's what she should do. But anyway, having said all of that, I let me say this. I appreciate I was asking where were you because I wanted to know how much drinking you did because you sound drunk. Let me tell you something, Dan Olofsky. Don't give me draft Animal picks. Kingdom? Don't give me trap. Yeah, I know Animal Kingdom. Man, I've been there. I understand, okay? Damn it, they should serve alcohol. They probably did serve alcohol to you because you sound drunk. This, listen, this, I want to hear about no draft picks when it comes to Tyreek Hill. You're not finding another Tyreek Hill in a draft. You're not finding that. Stop it. You don't Just have to. Just stop it right now. You don't listen, have to. Listen, I understand McCole Hardman can ball. I've interviewed him before. I've watched him play. I know he's big time. He's got a lot of potential. You just acquired Valdez Scantlin, which is another story we should get into because you had another receiver as, as left Aaron Rodgers. We should get into that too. But that's neither here nor there. What I'm saying to you about Tyreek Hill, I understand your point about the offensive line, Dan. I truly, truly do. But let's not minimize the impact. I'm not talking about the greatness because I know you acknowledge Tyreek Hill's great. I'm talking about the impact. You don't have to throw him the ball. He could simply run a route and scare the living hell out of a defense. That's how electrifying and explosive he is. When you take that into account, along with the chemistry and camaraderie that he has built with a Patrick Mahomes, with a Travis Kelsey, guess what? Other than the offensive line itself, 
the best thing you can do to protect a, a quarterback, the magnitude of a Patrick Mahomes, is to have a star like that. Because he's scaring the living hell out of you with every single step he takes. You can't ignore that. I'm not acknowledge, I'm not failing to acknowledge the other weapons that they have. Clyde Edwards Alaire, Daryl Williams, we know what they did last sure. season. Especially with, 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 with Edwards Alaire, he averaged over five yards a carry. I got all of that. I'm just saying to you, this is not a team that was looking to rebuild. They've been to four straight AFC championship games. They could have easily won back-to-back -back Super Bowls or didn't. two Super Bowls over the last three years. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. When you look at it from that perspective, why fix something that ain't broke? Well, because There's nothing but, that was broke about Stephen that a, offense. You're, Come you're, on, you're, man. But you're proving my point a little bit. What? That, that they've been to four straight AFC title games and they've only won one Super Bowl. That's because of their defense but, but or their offensive line. But if you pay the quarterback the premium money that they have, and then you choose to pay a receiver the premium money that it would have costed them with Tyreek Hill. Right. You can't supplement your roster. And I think that they sat back and said, we want Tyreek Hill. We understand how important he is. I but know to, they did that. But to allocate that much money to those two guys, you okay. can't build a football team. Uh, okay, fine. But what I'm saying to you is this. What you could have done is, okay, we're going to take care of the offensive line. We're going to make sure we buffer this offensive line. We're going to keep Tyreek Hill. And we just got a piecemeal of patchwork of defense together. We got to – because you know the offense is too damn explosive And you know what we do would that. do? You know, did you watch that offense in the second half against the Cincinnati Bengals? Tell me they're yes. too darn explosive. They had issues all season long. If they had done that in November, you would be on first take going, this defense stinks. They, I don't I, care I, how I, great – that's hold what hold I'm hold saying. Hold on, tell me, tell me. I did say the defense stuck. So you can't patch you can't patchwork the defense together, together I did then. Say that. You gotta understand that there is a reality with the salary cap. And when mm -hmm. the, the receiver demands that much money, it's not like you want him to go. You have to go, okay, if we let him go, what are the options to replace him? The reality that they have four picks in the top 62 of this draft matters. This wide receiver class is going to be spectacular. I, Jamar I Chase last year, Justin Jeff. That matters, Stephen A. I, I, I. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.